Kathy, joining us in the studio this morning, Damien graduate and Pulitzer Prize winner Byron Akihito. He has a new book coming out next year. We want to talk about that. Good morning, Byron. Morning, Kurt. Welcome nice to be here. home. You're based in Seattle now, but uh, you grew up here in Wahiwa, went to Damien High School. And your Pulitzer Prize was for a book having to do with engineering problems with, with Boeing planes. Yeah, with the Boeing 737. That was at, when I was at the Seattle Times. And did that work? Did a lot of research and uh, obviously had to had to dig because that, that's a sort of a Boeing town there, in Seattle. Yes, exactly. So yeah, we were able to show a problem with the rudder on the 737 that eventually got fixed. So um, that's why it got the recognition it did. Which is what good journalists try to do: is fix the wrong things. And one of the things that's wrong these days is identity theft. And your new book discovers that the criminals may be getting help from an uh, unbelievable place. Well, yes, what, you, I th what you're referring to is, uh, what we refer to in the book is that c criminals are really just doing what criminals are d normally do, which is to take advantage of opportunities. And uh, the opportunities are actually being presented, uh, we make the case, by our banks and our, our, our uh, credit bureaus in conjunction with the technology companies who are just basically trying to speed up transactions and credit issuing and do it via the internet. And the faster that goes, the more opportunities there are for criminals to, to steal identities and, and, in fact, steal money? That's exactly right, because the Internet uh, was never designed to serve as a secure transaction network, Kirk. And as a result, it's anonymous and it's distributed globally and it's uh, complicated. So there's many connections that have to be made to exchange data and all of those connections are open uh, are vulnerable to hacking, so and and the bad guys are are taking advantage of that. We've had wire transfers, something called wire transfers, for a long time, where amounts of money were electronically transferred from one place to to another, mm -hmm. uh, one bank to another, etc. How does that differ from the internet? You mentioned all the connections. If one is insecure, then that virtually makes the whole network. Insecure. Sure. Well, the big difference is that the wire transfer, the bank has to set it up and control it on either end. With online banking in this day and age, all you need is a username and a password to set up an account. And with the username and a password, you can enable virtually any transaction you can think of online. So think about that. All the bad guy has to do is get your username and your password, or your social security number to create another identity to get another username and a password. So um, what we argue in the book is that this is really just starting, the, the, the risk of uh, being a victim of data theft and or a financial scam using your data is on this rising curve for which we can't really see the end at the moment, Kirk. When's the book come out? In April. And it'd be called? Zero Day Threat, which refers to zero day threat is the notion of we're in a, the zero day period when really there is no cure or from this because people really don't fully realize what it's all about yet. Scary stuff. Uh, it is, but we're trying to create awareness so that people will demand changes, take steps to protect themselves, some of the simpler steps. So I think we just hope to create some awareness about this issue. Currently. All right. Pulitzer Prize winner Byron Akihito. Byron Akihito and uh, Damien should be proud. Yes. Go Monarchs. <laughs> thanks very much for being with us. All right. Thanks, Kirk.